Today we're going to start recording your daily food diary. So the first thing you're going to do is go to Safari and up in the address bar you're going to type in supertracker.usda.gov and Miss Davis will write this on the board for you so that it'll make it a little easier. Once you're inside using the email, the login account that Miss Davis provided for you. You're going to go over to where it says login and then you're going to type in your username and password and it's first name dot last name except for a few people who have a few different changes. Then your password is charger1 capitalizing the C. C-H-A-R-G-E-R-1 -E and then you're going to click login. Miss Davis has actually been logging some of these for our fake person named Joe Charger. But once you get inside, you're going to click right here on Track Food and Activity and then go down to Food Tracker. If I go down to the bottom, I can then look for any kind of foods I want. So I would look at my uh, daily food diary that Mr. Woods gave me and I would figure out what I need to look for first. So let's say that um, this evening I am going to have a piece of fried chicken. So I would find, this says fried chicken, breast, fried in oil, skin, breading, eaten. That sounds like something I would do. So I would click that and then down here it's going to give me the information. Now you have to choose the amount. Did you eat one? Did you eat two? Did you eat half of one? You actually, um, that's about the smallest amount you can do. So then once you um, figure out which one you want, you're then going to go down and pick which meal you had it for, and then you're going to click on Add. That then puts it into my category of meals that I've eaten. I would go back up, and let's say I'm going to have some broccoli with that. And it would be... Um, fresh broccoli cooked with a little bit of salt and then when I find it probably about one cup is what I would eat and I would click on the dinner and then I would click on add and let's say I had a piece of bread um, maybe it was let's see what happens when I put in dinner roll nope so you kind of have to play around with this to figure out what it, what's the key word to find what you want. So I'm going to have a 100% whole wheat roll. So I click on that. And then once again, that's for dinner. And I'm going to add it. Then I'm going to have corn on the cob. Which it didn't show up. So then I have to look, okay, what is my best... Corn white fresh cooked. That could be it. So then I would say this is for dinner. I have one ear of corn. And then I would click add. Once you get all the things entered um, that Mr. Woods has asked you to do, you then can check to see how you've done in terms of looking at your data or looking at your graph um, to see how you've done in eating healthy dinners. And then when you're done, you'll listen for um, instructions from Mr. Woods, and then you'll go up to your name and you'll click log out so that someone can't accidentally log more stuff into your day because then it's going to not show your real results. 